What's up? It's Do Daniels with DoDaniels.com. Living, learning, and achieving. Um, this video is about energy drinks and how they may increase your blood pressure and change your heart's rhythm. Now, I haven't even read this email, um, this article yet. It's by Michelle Castillo, CBS News. And um, But I'm going to read it live on this video because every once in a while, because I, you know, I, I talk about health a lot because I take vitamins, minerals, supplements and things to uh, increase my health or maintain my health as well as a, a good diet and exercise. Uh, a lot of people who care about me always see something in the news, you know, my news watchers. And I love you and the thank you. But um, they they sometimes send me these little emails about something, a study on calcium, a study on different things. So today uh, uh, I got an email or a phone call from uh, a dear person uh, in my family. And they told me that energy drinks cause high blood pressure and told me to stop immediately, stop drinking energy drinks. So I'm going to read this article live in this video so that we can see why we are supposed to stop so right away we see researchers are warning some energy drink fans that their habit may be taking a toll on their heart and not the heart of the mind but we're talking about their physical heart pumping the blood throughout their body now a new study presented at the american heart association aha 2013 scientific sessions in new orleans revealed that energy drinks may increase blood pressure and change the hearts with them now i want us to be readers of articles we have to remember what we're dealing with and i got that word circled there may increase uh blood pressure and change the heart rhythm now we see of course a picture of monster energy drinking we're not putting monster down but we're going to read what this article is saying so right now so far we got may do these things now energy drinks have made headlines recently with negative health reactions allegedly caused by the beverages. The FDA announced in November 2012 that it was investigating 13 deaths tied to five hour energy drink. Now, I remember this. It was, um, and then, you know, I think the kids, were, the, the these energy drink companies will tell you not to, not to take these energy drinks like more than one or two a day. I think two is like the max. Most of them say, some of these kids that were overdosing on these drinks were drinking like six. So, you you know, you're bound to do something because these are herbs that are in these drinks that help uh, produce energy, which we'll talk about as we continue reading this article. In addition, another investigation was opened to look at five deaths and one non-fatal heart attack that were linked to monster energy drinks. This included the death of a 14-year-old Maryland girl. Now, first of all, first of all, first of all, for teenagers, in my opinion, do not need this drink. Okay, maybe college students, you know, you want to stay up an extra four or five hours of the day to study for your midterm and things like that. Go ahead, chug you down one. But kids do not need to be drinking energy drinks. Now, this included the death of a 14-year-old Maryland girl whose family sued the company after she went into cardiac arrest after drinking two, not one. A 14-year-old girl does not need to drink two 24-ounce monster beverage drinks within a day. The company said the girl had a pre-existing heart condition. Now, the emergency room visits due to energy drinks have doubled over the last four years from 10,000 in 2007 to 20,000 in 2011. According to Substance Abuse and Mental Health uh, Administration, 42% of these cases involved in a combination of energy drinks with alcohol or drugs like Adrenal and Ritalin. Okay. So if you're gauging this like I'm gauging it, so far it stems like people are abusing uh, the energy drinks. That's why substance abuse was called it. Now let's continue reading. For the new study, which is considered primarily because, uh, no, preliminary, I can't read sometimes, but I'm a great reader. Preliminary because it was presented at the medical conference and has yet to be, pub yet to be uh, published. Researchers reviewed data from seven previous observations and in international studies. Participants were 
all healthy between the ages of 18 and 45. The first part of the analysis looked at the QT intervals, the time for electrical activica activica activation. I told you sometimes I can't read, but I'm a great reader. And inactivation of the ventricles or the lower chambers of the heart of 93 people who had just consumed one to three cans of energy drinks. The QT intervals was 10 milliseconds longer for the people who had just who had who just had energy drinks compared to controlled substance. Long intervals can cause serious irregular heart rhythms or lead to sudden sudden cardiac deaths. Now the QT prolongation is associated with life threatening um I'm not going to try to pronounce that right now, but you can see I got it highlighted there. Now, the finding that energy drinks could prolong the QT in light of the reports of sudden cardiac arrest warrants further investigation. The co-author, Dr. Ian Reddick, Director of Preventative Cardiology at the David Grant Medical Center, Travis Air Force Base in California. He said that statement. And the second analysis looked at systolic blood pressure the top number in the blood pressure reading in 132 participants. The energy drink increased by an average of 3.5 points. Now, the correlation between energy drinks and increased systolic blood pressure is convincing and concerning, and more studies are needed to assess the impact of the heart's rhythm. Uh, lead author Sanchin A. Shah, assistant professor at the University of Pacific in Stockton, California, said in a press release, patients with high blood pressure or long QT syndrome should use caution and judgment before consuming an energy drink. Since energy drinks also contain caffeine, people who do not normally drink much caffeine might have extricated, exaggerated, told you I cannot read, but I can read very well increase in the blood pressure okay so in response to the study the american beverage association told the cbsnews.com in a statement most energy drinks contain about half the caffeine uh of a similarly sized cup of coffee house coffee in the body of the scientific evidence does not suggest that energy drinks, energy drinks cause adverse health outcomes so that's the response from, of course, the ABA, the American Beverage Association, because you're going to cut our sales. So we're going to say, hey, all this study stuff is a bunch of crock. But there's something to this. Now, Dr. C. Michael White, head of a pharmacy practice at the University of Connecticut, told Healthy Day that he has no real concern that having an energy drink or two will negatively impact most people's health. However, there is enough information in this meta-analysis to make me concerned that there may be pockets of popula of the population who may have an increased risk, risk of adverse events. Um, and more work needs to be done to see if this is true, and said White, who is not involved in the study. So that's the end of the article. They didn't, and it's by Michelle Castillo. Um, she is an associate producer for CBSnews.com. Great article, great, you know, to bring awareness to people. But look, the article never said, hey, this, they never even in the study said, okay, let's find out the certain ingredients in these energy drinks that may cause this. And I'm sure if you look at the average energy drink um, ingredients, most of them, of course, they're spiked with sugar. They're, they have a lot of, um, of things in them that cause people to have heart problems. You know, mainly the the caffeine, which is going to bring allergies. Now, if you drink three cups of coffee a day spaced out in like every six hours, you may be all right. If you drink an energy drink, three cans of energy drink for spaced out every like six hours, then you may be all right. Now, if you're drinking an energy drink at 12 noon, you drink another one at one thirty or one o'clock and then you drink another one. At, man, look, that's not wise. It's, it's no less than me saying, hey, I'm going to drink a bottle of of alcohol wine at one and then another one at two and so forth. We have to be, you know, wise on what we're doing as we go into some of these things. Now there's a drink act. There's a, I said the name drink act, but there's an energy drink that I drink a lot. It's called drink act. And you can go look at, look into it at, um, longevity products.org uh, to get more information. Now drink act is, cons uh, is comprised of these ingredients. 
Now, I only use Drink Act when I need to stay up or when I'm feeling tired, I need to be alert. I don't drink a, a can every single day. I don't drink all the time. Now, Drink Drink Act Energy is, um, it's actually stands for Advanced Cell Therapy. So, the, you know, the, the makers of this was looking to make it a healthy beverage for people to consume. And it is um, pretty uh, pretty darn simple to use. And then when you look at the proprietary blend of of um, ingredients they put in it, they have um, fibrosol, guana seed, stevia leaf, green tea leaf extract, uh, fruit juice powders, and... Um, a few other things. Asian ginseng is one of the things that they use as well. So when you looking at this, you know that the. So you obviously know what the Asian ginseng and and the green tea leaf extract and um, some of the other content they have here. The high levels of uh, well, only a hundred percent of the daily value of vitamin uh, B twelve, B six, uh, niacin, and, and vitamin C potassium as well um, and this one only has 12 grams of sugar so you know this product is not like most of the energy drinks out there that actually have a certain level of caffeine this this one I'm sure it has some caffeine because it has the green tea leaf but it doesn't have caffeine as one of the labels because they don't add caffeine to the product and so you want to drink a safe energy drink like this where I would imagine it's a little bit better um, for the system than going in and getting something like a monster uh, that's going to, you know, hurt you. So, you know, one of the things you want to do is, you know, make sure that you understand that these are like herbs and herbs and in, 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 to my knowledge are like natural or old school medicines. So when you are taking herbs is like you're taking medicine so you can't just overdose on things or take them like you're taking vitamins and minerals where your body will use the vitamins and the minerals that it needs and get rid of the rest herbs are going to affect you and so you need not to be as worried when you are you know as you would be as when you're dealing with a monster energy drink or um what's the other one out there you got the the one that gives you wings, Red Bulls, Five Hour Energies, you know, and Six Hour Formulas, all these things out there. Um, I've tried them all. They do. They will alert you. They will get you going. But sometimes, if you drink it down too fast or you drink it too often, you you'll feel this like pulsating in the heart, and um, it could give you some uh, problems. But you gotta, you know, with anything, you gotta be wise. You can't just jump in and be drinking. Um, like the, the the deaths associated with this. If you have a heart problem, of course you want to check with your doctor. And your doctor, I'll tell you, you know, you're going to pay him a hundred some dollars, or your copay, and he's going to tell you exactly what you're about to hear now. Well, why don't you try a can, and uh, see how you feel? That's it. He's not going to tell you not to, because he knows that you're going to go do it anyway. So he's going to say, go try a can and, and tell me how you feel. Hey, Doc, you're going to come back and see him again on the follow-up visit. He's going to say, I, I tried a can. Uh, you know, I didn't really feel any difference. Uh, I did feel more energy, more alert. But I didn't I didn't really feel, okay, well, just keep it at one can a day and you'll be all right. And you're going to pay him $100 to tell you that, you know, just so that you can put him liable for yourself. But you got to be liable for yourself. Energy drinks might elevate the blood pressure just because of the heightened energy, the more activity you might be doing. You get your blood pumping around your body. And things of that nature heart rhythm it'll affect that if you're drinking four or five cans a day when you know you're only supposed to really only supposed to take one of these because a real energy drink like you know drink act a real energy drink like this should give you enough energy for you know to last you a, a good day if you wake up nice and refreshed good night of sleep you eat a good breakfast you take some healthy vitamins and minerals that alone will take you. And then if you do get that little afternoon where you're like, whoa, I'm, I'm, I'm crashing, you, you, you chug down your, your, your drink act. Um, for me, if I take one or two, I'm good all the way to like midnight with keen alertness, you know, unless my sleep habits have been changed. You know, if I traveled or if I'm doing projects that are keeping me up late, then, you know, all these things have 
um, what you call a part in the results. So with that, um, I, I appreciate my family, you know, sending me you know, anything related to these industries because I do like to be uh, on top of it and reading about it and because I'm conscious of what I take myself and definitely conscious of what I share with um, all my followers and YouTube um, subscribers, Twitter followers and newsletter and people who are just with me in this um, in every endeavor. So that's my that's my uh, time. Uh, energy drinks may increase blood pressure and change uh, the heart's rhythm, but it may increase. And that's what we all got to get out of here. Remember and know that it can and it may not because it may do it. So God bless you. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Peace.